Picture this. You've been looking forward to your holiday for weeks. You arrive at the airport ready to jet off. You receive a notification on your phone. Your flight's been delayed. It can be frustrating and inconvenient, but did you know that in the UK, if your flight's cancelled or you're delayed for more than three hours, you're often entitled to between £110 and £520 in compensation. In this video, we're going to break down what qualifies as a flight delay or cancellation, how much compensation you could be entitled to, and what steps you can take to claim it. Let's get started. What is flight compensation and why is it important? Flight delay and cancellation compensation is basically the money that airlines need to give passengers when their flights are disrupted, whether it's by being delayed or cancelled. It's a big deal because it means that passengers are protected when their travel plans go haywire. This way, they don't have to worry about being left hanging or losing money without any help. Plus, it puts pressure on airlines to keep things running smoothly and on time, since they know they'll have to pay up if they don't. Stuck at the airport if you're currently at an airport waiting for a UK or EU regulated flight, here are some things you should keep in mind. Firstly, your airline should keep you informed about what's happening. You can ask at the check-in desk, and you should also check the airline's website, app, Twitter, or Facebook accounts for updates. You can also use Flight Radar 24 to track your flight in real time. The airline must provide food and drink if you're delayed for more than two hours on a short haul flight, three hours on a medium haul flight, or four hours on a long haul flight. If the airline is unable to provide this, you can buy your own and claim back the cost, but be sure to keep your receipts. If you fancy the idea of free fish and chips, next time you are stuck at the airport, smash the like button now and keep the YouTube algorithm happy. If your delay is overnight, the airline must provide accommodation and transport to and from the hotel. If the airline is unable to do so, you can find a reasonably priced hotel and, once again, keep all your receipts. Be sure to keep hold of any evidence, including screenshots of information you've seen on social media. This could be useful if you later claim compensation. If your delay means you arrive at your destination more than three hours late, you may be entitled to compensation of up to £520 depending on the reason for the delay. If you're delayed more than five hours, you can get a refund regardless of the reason for the delay. Finally, if your flight is cancelled, you're entitled to a new flight or refund and possibly compensation. Depending on the circumstances, more information on this will be provided in another section of this video. It's important to note that these rules only apply to UK or EU regulated flights. What qualifies as a flight delay or cancellation? Flight delay is when a flight arrives at its destination later than the scheduled arrival time, while flight cancellation is when a flight is cancelled and does not take off at all. Compensation amounts for flights up to 1,500 kilometers with delay of three or more hours, you would get 210 pounds. Between 1,500 kilometers and 3,500 kilometers with delay of three or more hours, 340 pounds. When they are over 3,500 kilometers with delay of three to four hours, 250 pounds. Finally, for flights with delay of four or more hours, it's going to be 520 pounds. Delayed flights. These rules apply only to flights departing or landing from or to an UK, EU airport, regardless of the airline. If your flight was not UK or EU regulated, you cannot claim under UK, EU rules, but there may still be other options available. For coach air flights, the operator of the flight is responsible for any issues. If the operator is a UK, EU airline, you may be eligible for compensation. However, if the flight involves connecting flights operated by different airlines, the situation can be complicated. The CAA says that whether or not you have a case for compensation depends on whether the court considers the flights as one or two separate ones and whether the delay occurred in the US or the UK. Ultimately, it's a complex issue that requires court consideration. It's worth mentioning that these rules apply regardless whether the flight was part of a package holiday or not. How far back can you claim for flight delay compensation? In theory, you can claim for any past delays dating back to February 2005, but in practice, it's unlikely you'll be able to go back further than 2017, according to Flight Delay Solicitors Bot & Co. 
who have dealt with over 200 airlines and more than 480,000 claims, any airline is likely to refuse a claim that is longer than six years old. So, if you want to start a legal battle in England, Wales, or Northern Ireland, you have to do it within six years. In Scotland, you only have five years to get the ball rolling. When can you claim? To claim compensation for a flight delay, the delay must be within the airline's control. Examples of such delays include the crew or pilot being late, sickness or strikes by airline staff, flight cancellation due to underbooking, and technical problems caused by routine events. However, delays due to bad weather, industrial action, political problems, security or safety issues, air traffic management decisions, and technical problems caused by an unusual event are considered extraordinary circumstances and may not be eligible for compensation. So how do you find out the reason for your flight delay? Here are several ways. Check the airline's website or app and look for the Flight Status tab. Enter your flight destination, boarding airport, and flight number. Alternatively, speak to the gate agent if you are already at the airport and ask them for the cause of the delay. You can also check other Flight Status websites or apps such as FlightAware, FlightStats, or FlightRadar24. They offer live flight data, terminal information, seat maps, and alerts for gate changes. Some sources suggest that the airline may not always tell you the real reason for the delay, especially if it is their fault. You may need to use your own judgment and compare different sources of information to verify their claims. Delays must be at least three hours to claim. The delay must be on the arrival time, not the departure. So if you land two hours and 55 minutes late, you're not entitled to compensation, even if your flight took off four hours late. The arrival time is measured when at least one door of the plane is opened, according to a ruling by the European Court of Justice in 2014. Compensation depends on the length of delay and distance traveled, and it's fixed per person, meaning that a family of four will receive four times the amount of compensation. How to check how long your flight was delayed for? If you need to claim compensation for a flight delay but can't remember the exact length of the delay, there are still options available to you. Free historical flight data can be difficult to obtain, so one alternative is to use a claims firm's delay calculator. However, it's important to note that using a claims firm is not necessary. Instead, you can use their calculator to determine the length of your delay and then submit your own claim. Bot and Co's delay calculator is user-friendly. Simply input your flight number, date of flight, and airports you flew between, and it will tell you if you may be eligible for compensation. Keep in mind that the tool only provides an estimate of how much you can claim, and it does not tell you the exact length of the delay. Additionally, you will need to provide your name and email address, which may result in receiving marketing emails. If you need to take your claim to court, Bot and Co is a firm to consider. Is vouchers the only option? Airlines sometimes offer flight vouchers instead of cash as compensation for travel disruptions. However, passengers should be aware that they have the right to refuse vouchers and request cash compensation, which is typically paid by check. What evidence do you need? When claiming compensation, passengers should provide details of their flight and any supporting documents such as receipts, tickets, or boarding passes. Required details include passenger information, name, address, email, and phone number, previous airline reference number, and if applicable, flight details, including booking reference, flight number, dates, and travel locations, and flight length. The European Court of Justice has stated that boarding passes are not required to prove check-in time, and passengers can still claim successfully without documented evidence. What if the airline refuses to pay? If an airline refuses to pay compensation, there are steps you can take to get what you are owed. One option is to take your case to the relevant regulator or alternative dispute resolution service. Taking your claim further won't cost you anything for most airlines, but some airlines may charge a fee if your appeal is unsuccessful. If your appeal is still unsuccessful, you can take your case to court, but this option should be carefully considered as it can be costly and time-consuming. Make sure to review your case and weigh up the potential costs and benefits before proceeding with legal action. What if you don't fulfill the requirements? 
If you can't claim compensation for a flight delay, cancellation, or overbooking, you can still make a complaint and ask for a goodwill gesture or payment for poor customer service. For example, if you experienced a delay due to bad weather, which is not the airline's fault and therefore not eligible for compensation under EU regulations, but you believe that you were treated poorly in a way that you don't believe is acceptable, you can still make a complaint and request some form of compensation. You can write a letter to the airline explaining what went wrong and outlining what you expect in terms of a goodwill gesture. You can also use a flight compensation tool or template letter to help you. Airlines may still offer you something as a gesture of goodwill, especially if you can demonstrate that you were inconvenienced or mistreated in some way. Don't be afraid to speak up and let the airline know how you feel. You may be pleasantly surprised by the outcome. Flight Cancellation If your flight is cancelled, you have the option to choose between receiving a refund or an alternative flight to your destination. You're entitled to this, regardless of the cause or when you were informed of the cancellation. If the flight you booked departed from a UK or EU airport, regardless of the airline, or you were on a UK or EU airline that landed at a UK or EU airport, you have the right to a refund or an alternative flight. If your flight is cancelled and you're stuck at the airport, the airline is required to provide assistance such as food, phone calls, and even accommodation if there's an overnight delay. This only applies to cancelled flights where you choose to be rerouted at the earliest opportunity. If you opt for a refund or decide to be rerouted at a later date, the airline is not obligated to provide assistance. If you miss a connecting flight due to a cancellation, the airline must refund the full ticket price. If you are offered an alternative flight to get to that intermediate point, then you fall into the delayed flight category. If you booked your connecting flight separately to your original flight, then you can only claim based on the delay to each individual flight. If you used air miles to pay for part or all of your flight and you opt for a refund for a cancelled flight, the airline should reinstate the air miles. They should also refund any taxes that were included in the ticket price. However, taxes paid at the airport rather than as part of the original booking are unlikely to be refunded. If your airline can't offer you a suitable alternative flight, you have the right to ask to be put on an alternative airline. EU flight delay law says passengers whose flights have been cancelled must be offered rerouting, under comparable transport conditions, to their final destination at the earliest opportunity. If you believe you should be offered a flight with an alternative airline, check with your airline first and ask them to book the flight for you. If you have to rebook yourself, keep all evidence to help your claim, such as screenshots of being unable to get through on live chat and evidence that you found a reasonably priced alternative. Eligibility The only thing worth adding here is that you cannot claim compensation if you are offered rerouting between 7 and 14 days before the scheduled departure and the new flight arrived less than 4 hours after the scheduled time of arrival. You were offered rerouting less than two hours after the scheduled time of arrival. Overbookings Airlines sometimes overbook flights, assuming some passengers won't show up. If everyone shows up, the airline may have to bump off some passengers. Initially, they ask for volunteers to give up their seats, offering cash or vouchers, a seat on a later flight, and food or a hotel room if needed. If not enough volunteers, they can deny boarding to selected passengers. Passengers with expensive tickets or elite frequent flyer status are usually not forced off. If you are bumped off, you are entitled to compensation under UK or EU rules. You can choose between a refund or a new flight, and you may also be eligible for compensation based on the timings of the alternative flight offered, even if you opt for the refund. Downgrades If you get downgraded, EU law has got your back. The percentage of your ticket cost back depends on the distance. 30% for flights which are less than 1,500 kilometers, 50% for flights which go between 1,500 kilometers and 3,500 kilometers, and 75% for long haul flights for more than 3,500 kilometers. You should receive payment within seven days. If you are only downgraded for part of your journey, the refund will be calculated accordingly. How to Claim Compensation
Claiming compensation for a delayed or canceled flight can be confusing and time-consuming. That's why Money Saving Experts' free online tool is here to help. The tool, powered by Resolver, helps you write, follow up, and track complaint letters. It can also escalate to regulators and adjudicators if needed. If your complaint is not resolved within eight weeks, you will be reminded to take it to the appropriate regulator or adjudicator. If you escalate your complaint to the Civil Aviation Authority, you may need to fill out their own complaints form. Resolving your claim usually takes between 4 to 12 weeks. Use Resolver's website to find your airline. But if it's not there, you'll need to complain directly. 10 airlines, including Emirates and Jet2, don't accept complaints through Resolver. In this case, you can submit your complaint directly to the airline using MSE's free template letters. Check with your airline for their specific procedures and remember to clearly explain what went wrong and what compensation you're seeking. Additionally, if you're claiming under EU or UK law, you can mention the specific regulations. This would show the airline you're serious about your claim. Even if you're asked to fill in an online complaints form, you can still use MSE's template letters or segments of them to support your claim. The link to download the delayed flight's template letters and for the resolver-powered tool will be provided in the video description. Do keep in mind that the operator of the flight is responsible for any issues that arise, not the firm you booked with. Escalating your complaint. Don't give up if your airline rejects or stalls your claim. You can take these steps to make your case. 1. Appeal to the relevant regulator or adjudicator. This is usually free, but CEDR charges £25 if your appeal fails. The fee is waived if you receive compensation. 2. Use the specific adjudicator affiliated with your airline. The Civil Aviation Authority has approved various alternative dispute resolution schemes to take on cases. Your airline must tell you if it has signed up to one. If it covers your flight, you must go to it to appeal. 3. Follow the appropriate adjudicator's process and submit your complaint promptly. With persistence, you may get the compensation you're entitled to taking your airline complaint to court. So, if you've tried everything else and you're still stuck, you can always take it to court. Unfortunately, our Resolver tool won't help you this time. But don't worry, you can still download your case details for reference. To use the small claim system, your claim must be under a certain amount depending on your country. In England and Wales, it's £10,000 or less. In Scotland, it's £5,000 or less, and in Northern Ireland, it's £3,000 or less. Keep in mind that there's a time limit to file a claim. You have six years in England, Wales, and Northern Ireland, and five years in Scotland. If your flight was operated by a UK airline, you can take them to court in either the country of departure or arrival. You can also take them to court in the UK if they have a UK address, regardless of where their head office is located. If you're struggling with your flight compensation claim, remember that you have options. Keep the monetary limits, timeframes, and potential airline challenges in mind if you decide to go to court. Not on a UK or EU flight. If your flight wasn't regulated by the UK or EU, you won't be covered by their compensation scheme. However, you can still try to get compensation in other ways. Check if there are similar schemes in the airline's country or the country of departure. Visit the European Consumer Centre for Services website for help. Claim under the Montreal Convention, but you'll need to prove that you suffered a financial loss as a direct result of the delay. You can also complain directly to your airline. And finally, make sure to check if you're covered by your travel insurance policy. Keep in mind that whether you'll get compensation will depend on the cause of the delay. It may not be easy, but keep exploring all avenues and with a bit of luck, you may still be able to receive compensation. Can compensation claims raise airfares? Claiming compensation for a flight delay could lead to airlines paying out large sums and potentially increasing flight prices. This is causing concern over a growing compensation culture and its impact on the airline industry, especially for budget airlines whose pricing models could be crippled. Consider this. Some passengers who paid as little as £19 for their flight may be entitled to a disproportionate payout of £230 for a delay that only lasted a few hours and didn't significantly bother them. 
In this case, claiming can do more harm than good. In summary, compensation is financial justice for poor service on an expensive product. It's important to consider the impact before claiming and decide whether it's worth it. The Impact of Brexit Brexit hasn't changed the rules for flight delay compensation. You're still entitled to the same compensation as before, even though now it'll be paid in pounds if you make a claim under UK law. These rules apply to flights departing from the UK, arriving in the UK with an EU or UK carrier, and arriving in the EU with a UK carrier. So don't worry, you're still covered. Final thoughts. Traveling can be a stressful experience, and flight delays or cancellations can add to that stress. It's natural to feel frustrated or upset when your travel plans are disrupted, but it's important to remember that behind every delayed or cancelled flight is a team of hardworking individuals doing their best to get you to your destination safely. From the pilots and flight attendants to the ground staff and air traffic controllers, these individuals work tirelessly to ensure that your flight is as smooth and safe as possible. They deal with a variety of challenges, from weather conditions to technical issues, all while prioritizing the safety of their passengers and crew. If you do happen to experience a delay or cancellation, try to keep a positive attitude and make the best of the situation. This could mean exploring the airport reading a book, or simply taking a moment to relax and recharge. Remember that delays and cancellations are often out of your control, but your attitude and approach can make all the difference in how you experience the situation. Happy flying!